Tale kind ever after. I mean, when I see a movie and I know that it ends with a kiss or a wedding, I can sit back and enjoy all the surprises leading up to it. The thing is, life isn't always like a movie. Sometimes life is only, well, life, and you just have to live it as best you can and relax, even if the groom can't. His name is Dan Hart. We met in high school, and I knew right from the start that he was going to be my personal happy ending. But I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. Maybe I better start at the beginning. Isn't she perfect, Robert? Our little girl. Yes. Lori, Gwendolyn, Madison. Stop, please. Could we just stop right there? <laughs> and not only because my mom gave away a middle name that I've never really cared for, this is way too far back. We need to fast forward about 30 years. Past braces, summer camp, past college, to last month. Mrs. Irma Clark from Twin Falls, Idaho, I'm going to inform you that you have been chosen to receive a three-night, two-day stay at one of our many five-star resorts. Mrs. Clark? Good morning, Ms. Baumgarten. Ms. Baumgarten? Not till your rent is paid, it's not. I'm sorry, it's just been a really rough month. Oi, where does the money go? Well, scout cookies, the pet rescue people. You try to give to everybody, but you know how it is. Oh, I know how it is. Now let me tell you how it is. There's a waiting list for these apartments. Long as my arm. People willing to pay twice what you do. I I'm sure that's true. We'll expect the check by Monday. Elaine Bartlett from Lansing, Michigan. You don't know me, but I'm calling from one of the world's largest resort communities to let you know that you have won an all expenses paid vacation to... Oh, is this a bad time? Yeah, I can hear her. How old is she? Oh, that's such a cute age. One of my friends has a little boy who's turning three this weekend, actually. Lori Madison. No, no, uh, New York City. Oh, I love that restaurant, but you can never get in. Your cousin's the chef? You don't think he'd mind? <clears throat> uh, just a sec. That's, uh, five nights and two days at a one-star resort of your choice. Uh, I'll have to call you back. Make that sale, did we, Miss Madison? Uh, very close, Mr. Webster. Very, very close, but no. Oh, maybe her cousin, the chef, might be interested. We have a strict performance policy here. Do you remember what that might be? Our telemarketers. Telephone and market. That's what makes us telemarketers. And we... Oh, we stick to the script. And we don't. Make idle conversation? Because... I miss money? Last week, I caught you giving a brownie recipe to a woman in Tuscaloosa. She was using way too much butter. The week before that, it was a hiccup remedy. A movie recommendation, a monologue on stain removal, an extended discourse on the pros and cons of vitamin B12. Do you use vitamins, Mr. Webster? I've been reviewing your employment history. You've left 10 different positions in the last six years alone, everything from department stores to pet grooming. Do you finish anything you start, one wonders? Please, from now on, everything will be by the book, word for word. You'll see. Oh, I'll see. I see all, hear all. I'm everywhere at once, like a jungle cat. Remember that. Like a jungle cat. Yes, sir. I heard every word. Are you okay? How about a drink after work? Just the gang. Oh, I can't. I'm meeting Michael at his studio, and then he's coming to my house for dinner. Ooh. Uh. Scott Grinds from Prescott, Arizona. This could be your lucky day. When you nice. smile, I can see. His name is Michael Chapman, and he's a photographer. Very nice. Art, fashion, beauty. I have to 
figure I'm a nice change for him. It divides your yeah. face in two. Just like that. When Great. Chin up a bit. Be, be with you in five, okay? Do what you need to do. Little bits are standing on your head when you smile. What you smile as a two. Very good. That's it. Right there. Good. Hold that. Perfect. Beautiful, Lori. That's right. Okay, give me a smile. Yeah. You already have him. You already have him. trouble? I can never make these work. You know, millions of Chinese use chopsticks every day. Maybe that's why they're such a thin people. Are you crying? But she got the guy. She found her cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Do you want more wine? Sure. Well, let me get it. No, 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 no. I'll just, I'll be a second. I <clears throat> want to get a Kleenex. And a fork. <laughs> Are you still coaching your nephew this Sunday? Because I'd love to come watch. Do baseball players have cheerleaders? Maybe I could be his. I'm sure he'd love that. You know he's crazy about you. No, 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 no. There's another classic coming on. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Can I talk to you for a minute? Is everything OK? Everything is fine. It's great. Come, sit down. Um, would you get that for me? Can we let it go? Sure. Thanks. Lori. We've been, uh, we've been dating for about six months, and... <clears throat> I know that's not a very long time, but <clears throat> I think in the grand scheme of things, we'd... Is that gonna stop? I had to cancel my voicemail. All right. <clears throat> Lori Madison's apartment. Hey, Mrs. Madison, it's Michael. Yeah, yeah, it's still Michael. <laughs> She's right here. Hi, Mom. Yes, it's still Michael. Yeah, I got the, the diet book you sent. No, 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 I, uh, 50 ways. To, to, to make use of, of arugula. Sounds, yeah, sounds really great. Oh, 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 All right, Owen. Oh, I want you to focus on the ball, okay? Be the bat. Be the bat. <laughs> Almost, buddy. That's okay, Owen. You can do it. Looking back, that wasn't just a baseball coming at me. Lori, heads up! It was my future. Uh, what happened? Is the game over? Yeah. You're lost. Oh. Uh, and I ruined Owen's ow practice. <sighs> this is the only place I could find Uncle Michael. Is she gonna die? Well, let's see, only if she's allergic to, uh, what is this, grape? <laughs> I love grape. <laughs> I'm sorry, Owen. That would have been a home run if I didn't get in the way. Boy, you don't know much about baseball, do you? <laughs> Maybe we should get you to an emergency room. No, 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 it's, it's just a bump. I'm fine. I have to be fine. I, I can't miss work. Tomorrow is Monday, isn't it? And I need to prove that I'm serious about my job. One thing I know for sure, <laughs> I am sticking to that job. I quit. Imagine my surprise. That man just lost his dog, and he needed somebody to talk to. I cannot work someplace where common human decency is not part of the company policy. So just, you know, give me my severance pay, and you will never have to see my face again. 
Severance is for those who've been severed. Another 30 seconds and you would have been. Pity. So close, Miss Madison. So very, very close. Hey, girl. I'm so sorry. It's Monday. You have something for us? Uh, about my rent. We'll, we'll miss you. you. What are you gonna do? What are my options? My bank account's at zero, right down there with my self-esteem, and I cannot bring myself to ask my mother for another penny. Well, then just come home. Look, it's been too long. Time for a best friend face to face. Hey, you kids want to see Auntie Lori? Do you hear that? It's unanimous. I can't give up now, Jewel. You're not giving up. You're just taking a break. Look, sometimes you need to take a step back to see what's really going on. Anthony, you untie your sister. I mean it. I'm almost 30. I can't go running back to my mother. I mean, who lives with their mother at my age? Your brother. OK, that's true. But he admits he's a loser. Oh, my god. Maybe so am I. Is that what I am? Oh, Jewel. Never. You listen to me. Pack your bags, get your ass back to Colorado, and we'll work through this together. Anthony, did you hear me? I mean it. We can kiss this watercress goodbye. Look, I gotta go. Think about what I said, OK? I miss you. Bye. Lori, we've been seeing each other for Hey, I was just about to meet you at the restaurant. Are we jogging there? I quit today. Good. Congratulations. They don't understand you anyway. Heck, I don't understand you half the time either, but I'm working on it. This shouldn't be hard work, me and you. The, the relationship should be easy. And, and, and right now, nothing is easy for me. So I'm, I'm moving back to Colorado for a while. There, 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 there's just something that, that I need. And OK, I, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's there. Wait a minute, you're, you're leaving? No, 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 no. That's a very, very bad idea. How about I say something that might change your mind? Like what? Well, Lori, we've been seeing each other for six months. Oh, no, 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 Michael, please, please, please don't do that. You don't even know where I'm going with this. A ring like that, we've been together six months. I mean, it doesn't take a mind reader to put the pieces together. I can't let you do this. But I want to marry you. Look at you, you're, you're perfect. And I'm a mess, I'm broken. I couldn't do that to you. I lost my job today, my apartment, and it's only a matter of time before I'd lose you too. So I can't sit around waiting for the third shoe to drop. My shoe? Lori, there is no shoe. There's always a shoe, Michael. I'm not who you think I am. I'm, I'm scattered and unfocused and, OK, insecure, and obviously, and with good reason. And if I don't do this now, you only realize it for yourself eventually. And then you'll be the one to leave. And I couldn't survive that. So please, please don't make it harder than it already is, because it's, it's already like the hardest thing I've ever done. Really, really like you, really. So.
takes a lot to send a grown woman back to her mother. But what choice did I have? Obviously, my life needed direction, and right now, that direction was west. My gut told me there was something back home I needed to resolve before I could get on with my life. I didn't know how to break the news to my mom, so I waited until I got to South Dakota. I should be there sometime tomorrow afternoon. I knew this was bound to happen sooner or later. Didn't I tell you you left home too soon? You weren't ready. No animal prince. He's a vegetarian. I'm 29 years old. If I waited till you thought I was old enough, I'd be 50. There's nothing wrong with 50, darling. It's the new 40. Like, orange is the new black. We're the trendsetters, Oprah says. So come on, I'll make you a roast. You? When did you learn to cook? Well, you'd be surprised what I can do lately. I've become very domestic. Google me a recipe for roast. It's probably under meat or something. Seriously, Lori, come for a month, a year, until you're ready. Forever, whatever you need. After all, this is your home. Brother. Lori! <laughs> oh, 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 your hands are wet, Will, put me down. Oh, look at you. I can't believe you drove all the way here in that. Leave that there overnight, and there's a good chance someone will tow it away. Man, isn't it time for an upgrade? I can't sell it. It's like an old friend. Oh. What is all that? Will skydiving? What? Do you ever read your email? A few thousand hours of airtime, I thought I might as well put them to use. But skydiving? Isn't that dangerous, jumping out of planes? I'm a dangerous man. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, really, it's incredible. You have to come up with me sometime. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna happen. Is mom inside? Yeah, come on, I'll introduce you. <sighs> Not another new hair color. No, same one she's had all week. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. Look at you. Oh, it must have been even worse than you said. Have you lost weight? No. Yeah. No. I didn't think so. Well, I'd almost forgotten what you look like. You, what is that oh. new color? <laughs> the package said autumn something. I took a chance. What's that smell? I promised you a roast, remember? Um, uh, Mom? Oh, no! Oh. oh, we'll do something about that, or we'll have the fire department out here again. Again? Well, a little baking accident last month. It was nothing. Half a column on page one. Oh, I so wanted everything to be right for you tonight. Really, I think all I need is a good night's rest. Uh, I understand completely. Tomorrow's the first day of the rest of your life. Everything she knows she learned from a cocktail napkin. you're gonna turn it into a craft room. Oh, darling, I don't do handicrafts. I have people for that. And besides, how could I touch your room? It's just so... Twilight Zone. What's that? Oh, that? Well, that's that paint by number painting that you were so excited about back in summer camp. You framed it? It's not finished. There's a whole shelf of your stuff in the garage. Half a dollhouse, half a science project, half a stamp collection. Half a prom dress that you were so determined to make. Well, let's face it. You love to start things, but you weren't big on follow through. And that's what you had your mind for. And did I mention that it's good to have you home? If you want to talk, I'm still just down the hall. We can have half a conversation.
Seven things to do before I'm 30. <laughs> Be a rock star. Go skinny dipping. Tell Will the truth. Get a tattoo. Forgive my mother. Dance under the moon. Marry Danny. <laughs> Mom and Will were right. Michael was right. Even Mr. Webster was right. I hadn't been able to complete anything in my life. Not a job, not a painting, and not one single thing on that list. I don't care what the client wants. It's a home, not a theme park. But I can't discuss this now. I'm cooking. Yes, cooking. I'll call you later. Since when does slicing grapefruit count as cooking? Uh, no, not there. That's Lori's spot. Her world is in shambles right now, and she needs the emotional support of familiar places. No, I don't care where I sit. No, Mom's right. Take your old chair. Ooh, what's for breakfast? Oh, I made you a lovely half grapefruit. Doesn't that sound healthy? Just like old times. You're serious? Well, you used to love grapefruit. You used to think I loved grapefruit. I thought it would make you feel better, everything the way it was. I'm almost 30 years old. Everything should not be like it was. It's like the last 10 years never happened. Of course they happened. <laughs> How else would you have had time to make such a mess of your life? Bon appetit. God, it's so good to see you. I can't tell you. I've missed you. All right, settle. Say hello to your Auntie Lori, or I'm donating these cupcakes to charity. Oh, nice save. Thanks. Here you go, Olivia. What do you say? Wow, that's the best thank you I've ever gotten. I really envy you and Mark these kids. Well, you should have a couple of your own. What about Michael? Table for one. Again? Tell me the truth. Is this because you're still hung up on Dan Hart? OK, I believe coincidences happen for a reason. I mean, I hadn't thought of him in years, and then suddenly twice in two days? Dan, please, you know he never really took me seriously. Well, that's not what I remember, but if that's the way you want to play it. Has anybody heard from him? As a matter of fact, he moved back last spring. T took over the car lot up on Willow. Well, you should drop by and take a test drive. And I'm not talking about the cars. <laughs> Anthony, peanut butter is not a toy! There he was, Dan Hart. Captain of the football team, student body president. And for one golden year in high school, my boyfriend. And you didn't even say hello. There was absolutely no way. Sorry to interrupt, girls. I just wanted to say goodnight. Oh, looking good, Mrs. Madison. Oh, not bad for an old broad, yes? And it's Vanessa, please. Hot date? Well, it's just dinner, but don't wait up. <laughs> nice to see you again, Jewel. You too, Vanessa. <laughs> and girls should go out and have some fun of your own tonight. There's life out there. Go find it. Your mom's right. Oh, well, she's always right. Just ask her. You two have a fight or something. Will! Are you gonna get that? Will! <sighs> Madison residence. Oh, you there. Thank God. Uh... Michael. I, uh, I got that, uh, account. The new teen fashion magazine. I had to tell someone you're the only one who believed it would happen. I knew once they saw your stuff, they couldn't go any other way. I'm really glad for you. 
Thanks. You weren't answering your cell. I thought for sure you'd be in touch after a day or two, but when you weren't, I, uh, well, I figured I'd call your mom and see if. Oh, she's out for the evening, but I could take a message. <laughs> Still funny. No, I, I, I don't want to talk to her, and I, uh, I didn't just call about the news. I need to know what happened between us, Lori. If it was something I did, then. I'm glad I... you got the job, and I really, really mean that, but I can't do this right now. Don't mind me, I like the wallpaper. Well, then when? Give me a time, I'll call back. You're making this really hard, Michael. There's a wonderful woman out there for you, and I wish I was her. We're her. We're she. I, I wish it was me. I. Oh, Michael. Lori, I, I don't. Lori. New York, Michael. Another unfinished project and all the other unfinished projects in my life. Oh, only this one was really great, and I totally screwed it up. Okay, give. What's going on? And don't tell me nothing. Okay, you might as well see this. Seven things to do before I'm 30. When did you write this? Oh, never mind. I can tell by the stationery. Just read it. Be a rock star. Well, that was realistic. What do you want from me? I was barely a teenager. And that wasn't it exactly. I just, I wanted to be somebody for like 15 minutes. You've been somebody your whole life. How do you not know that? Oh, you never went skinny dipping? Oh, right, you have that whole body issue thing. Ooh, a tattoo. I uh, wanted to rebel. My mom wouldn't let me. Oh, dancing under the moon. Well, what's all this stuff with Will and your mom? Old personal business, but just check out the last one. Mary Danny. Now that one I totally get. You're not 30 yet, you've still got time. A month? Well, don't think of it as a month. That's four weeks, that's a lot of days. Look, your life needs some direction. Let this be your map. I'm even gonna help you get started. Number four. Ah! Lady, come on, relax. I have a very low threshold for pain. Yeah, I noticed. World record low. How much more? We haven't even started yet. Oh my God. You can do this, Lori. Ow! Somehow this little butterfly gave me such a feeling of power over my life. It was the first step to finding out who Lori Madison really was. I was always afraid that I could have been just anybody, but just anybody doesn't have a butterfly tattoo on her ankle. One down, six to go. This tattoo was maybe the first thing I ever finished in my entire life. Joel was right, that list was the roadmap to my future. And come hell or high water, I was gonna complete every last item before turning 30. This one little step made me determined to take another one, and another. How long you plan to keep this up? Well, so far it's been 29 years. You're great the way you are, you always have been. You're the only one who doesn't get that. I'll hear my mother tell it. Oh, whatever. Hey, you got plans tonight? There's this great new sushi spot. Two nights in a row, wow. Doesn't Mark mind? Yeah, he wanted to be noticed. It's a wonderful thing about being married. Look, I gotta get out of here. I'm exhausted. How? You haven't done anything. I got three kids off to school this morning. She'll be an Olympic event. This is much harder than it looks. Mm, so I've heard. Good luck with that. I'll call you later. New York. A little advice, George. Don't quit the day job. <laughs> Sushi in Colorado. Who knew, right? Miko, two beers. 
Yeah. Now that makes what? What was it? Six, six of you singing so far. But which one of you is tonight's rising star? Who is gonna be our lucky number seven? Somebody! Oh my God, this is your chance. You said you wanted to be a rock star, right? It's number one on your list. So maybe this is as close as you're gonna get. Now or never? I pick never. Anybody want a shot at this genuine plastic trophy and bragging rights for the next month? Do we have a volunteer? Just get up there. I couldn't really. No. Right over here! Oh, it looks like we have a yes! No. No. We have a no. We have a no. No, we have a yes. We do have a yes. It's a no. Yes, it is a yes. Yay! It is a new face in the crowd. And your name is? Uh, Lori Madison. <laughs> How about a little encouragement for Lori Madison? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna pick a number and then the stage is all yours, okay? While we're at it, how about a big round of applause for our chef, Bob, making sushi for us all night, because that's how he rolls. Oh, okay, are you ready? Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the song stylings of Lori Madison. Just a heartache in disguise Won't you keep my heart from breaking If it's only for a very short time Playing with the queen of hearts Knowing it ain't really smart Joker ain't the only fool Who'll do anything for you Laying out another lie Thinking about a life of pride That's what I'll have to do To keep me away from you What are you doing back in town? Having dinner. Uh, you remember Jewel. Hey. So I, I thought you were off seeing the world. Oh, yeah, I've been there, saw that. Just glad to be back home. Nice bling, by the way. Uh, it'll look great with my Grammy, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> so did I hear that you have a car dealership now? Yeah, I just bought the old Delancey lot. And I mean the old Delancey lot. If you like shag carpeting, you should totally come by. I, I, I just might do that. Hey, sweetie, sorry I'm late. Hey. Um, Meredith Vargas, this is uh, Lori Madison. We used to go to school together. Oh, uh, Lori Madison, right. Dan's told me all about you. Uh, really, about me? Yeah, you're his first crush, right? <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you. Did Dan tell you the news? No. Meredith and I are um, kind of... Engaged. The wedding's next week didn't tell you. Danny's so excited he gets tongue-tied. Well, that's... that's terrific. Congratulations on the trophy. Uh, same to you. Okay, so for five minutes, I was a rock star. I faced my fears, I sang like nobody was listening, and it was actually fun. But who cares about that when 
Dan is engaged to a woman who was maybe in diapers when we were dating? She's barely 20. <sighs> a younger woman. Shocking. Uh, seriously, she's like way too thin for him. Did I say thin? I meant young, too young. And you should see the way she looks at him. Oh my God, like a piece of meat. Ugh. It's just wrong, don't you think? At my age, still living with mom, I'm the last person to judge. So what do you think? These colors work for you? Do you remember Carol Cole? The first great love of my life? You never liked Carol. Why bring her up after all these years? She and her family moved back east a few years ago, right? And you wrote her a letter or something. Yeah, I poured my heart out. Told her if she didn't write back, I'd never bother her again. And? She didn't write back. She wrote back. A long, mushy letter about how much she loved you and how you were the only one. Lots of hearts and flowers. Frankly, it was a little embarrassing. And you know this because? Because I read it. I was young and stupid, and you're right. I didn't like her. I thought you could do a lot better. So you what? You threw it out? No, that would be very wrong. I just didn't deliver it. She wanted to marry me. She was just trying to get your attention. She always knew how to play you. And you didn't trust me with my own life? I didn't want you to get hurt. Look, it made sense at the time, but I was wrong. And I'm so sorry. So, so, so sorry. That's three so's, four if you count the first one. How typical. One stupid letter? How does that rate a typical? It's not only the stupid letter. You've never trusted me. Not to make my own decisions, not to drive your car, not even to feed your dumb goldfish when you were at summer camp. Look, I'm just trying to apologize here. If there's anything I can do to make up for hiding your letter and to prove to you that I trust you, just tell me. I put myself in your hands. I'll do anything. Anything? Anything. I, I don't think I can do this after all. Well, I, I can't. Relax. Just do exactly what I taught you. You'll be fine. Oh. Just so you know, Carol called me when she didn't hear from me, and we broke up anyway. You knew? You knew the whole time? Yeah. Ah! Wow. Now guys, this is the perfect little starter car at the perfect price. It's a VTEC, four-cylinder, 220 horsepower, sharp as they come. Dude, there's a bang falling out of this guy. Damn it, you were jerking around so much. Lori, what the hell? Well, you did say to drop in if I was in the neighborhood, so, uh, this is my brother, Will. Will, yeah. you remember Dan Hart, right? Yeah, it's been a while. How you doing? Good to see ya. Yeah, you too. So who knew you had such an adventurous streak? Not me. I've learned a lot about myself lately. And about you. So, you're engaged. I'm engaged. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, well, Meredith's a great girl. Yes, she's great. So, how did it happen, actually? The engagement, the uh, wedding right around the corner? <laughs> well, you know, next logical step, I guess. With somebody for a while and you, uh, you know, love them. And you love her? Nuts, right? Possibly. <laughs> oh, no, I meant I, I remember that you like your ice cream with nuts. Oh, yeah, right. So. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that. Thanks. <laughs> Ta-da! Thank you. Absolutely. Cheers. So when did you take up skydiving? It was an unexpected complication of an old promise I made myself. 
Some things I wanted to do before I turned 30 next month. Seven of them, actually. Seven, huh? Guess it's never too late. Well, that's the hope. So what's next on your list? And don't think that I'm giving up until you tell me. I couldn't tell him. It was embarrassing. Who hasn't gone skinny dipping at least once in their life? Other than me, I mean. This was me. Never comfortable with my body. Maybe because there was just so much of it as my mother was always there to remind me. But it was time to change all of that, to get comfortable, to throw caution to the wind. Hi, uh, is your pool open to the public? Only on weekends. I was wondering if uh, we could work out a midweek deal. How's the water? Damn, what are you doing here? I went to go pick up a coffee. I just saw your car outside. The question is, what are you doing here? Is this, uh, are there something off your list? What? They don't swim in New York? It's not swimming exactly. What's not exactly swimming? Skinny dipping? <laughs> don't laugh, I've never done this before. Did anyone ever tell you it's a team sport? Don't you dare! Oh my god. <sighs> oh. Huh? <laughs> now you. We're gonna have to turn around. Fine, I won't look, I promise. Now I guess. There, now it's official. That's not so bad. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> now what do we do? Now, we swim. Oh, man, I haven't done this in years. I don't think I should get a list of my own. Um, Danny, when, uh, when we were dating, it was all of that just in my head? I mean, you had so many thin, perfect girls to choose from back then. I didn't want the thin girls. I wanted you. You're perfect. Well, if I'm gonna buy that, then why did we break up? No, there was no we about it. It was all your decision. I think that you uh, were so worried that I was gonna break up with you eventually that you just left first. It was me, all me. Then what would have happened if I hadn't, if, if I'd stayed? Laurie, in a few days, I'm about to marry a woman that I, I married this a woman that I. She's a woman that you love. Yeah. So why is that so hard to say? I don't know, I just, I don't know, I feel weird talking to you about her. I'm the first person that I never felt that way about and I know that I'm not cheating on her, but when I look at you, I... You see someone you used to love. Yeah. What that was. Years ago. 
You went swimming in a Colorado winter? It was indoors. The pool was heated. Alone? No, Dan Hart showed up. Well, well. We were just swimming. Of course. What is that supposed to mean? If you say you were just swimming, I believe you were just swimming. Oh, this is the sketch that I've been working on for that new hotel in Aspen. We could have been making out, having hot afternoon sex. I suppose anything is possible. You don't think very much of me, do you? Because I don't imagine you having wild sex in a community pool? No, because you can't imagine. You can't imagine anybody possibly being attracted to me that way. Uh, uh, did I say that? I don't believe I said that. Where is this coming from? Oh. My poor darling. Are you feeling okay? You know, maybe a little chill? I gotta go. <sighs> Lori, what did I say? Even the best mother-daughter relationships are impossibly complicated. And maybe you just had to be in the middle of mine to really get it. Something told me of all the items on my list, forgiving her was going to be the toughest. Okay, come on. No. Don't do this. Come on, please, please. Oh. 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 Come on, don't do this to me. Oh. Run, Lassie. Go get Timmy. I just hope Timmy's an auto mechanic these days. <sighs> this shouldn't take long. My boys are the best. You really don't have to go to all this trouble. I want to. Okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna go see what's up. I'll be right back. Don't you think? <laughs> we took it the day Danny proposed. I, uh, my car broke down, and, uh, Dan's just checking it out for me. You're a little accident prone, yes? I heard about the parachute. The parachute? Yeah, we, we, we laughed about that. I, I hope you laughed. Did, did you laugh? <laughs> well, you couldn't have planned something like that after all. I mean, could you? You do remember he's almost married. I, I, I'm really happy for both of you. Are you? Me too. I just hope it's nothing serious. Your car. My car. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry to break into your evening, but I'm looking... Mrs. Madison. Do I know you? Michael Chapman, from New York. Still Michael. I've seen your picture. Oh, you're... Well, I had no idea. I'd imagine someone... Well, not you. It's very nice to meet you. You should come in. What is wrong with that girl? Pastries? It's safe. I didn't make them. The tea is mine, but that's the one thing I can do in a kitchen. Thank you. 
Well, clearly, my daughter hasn't told me enough about you. You're in books, did she say? Uh, art photography. Oh. Well, it's... It's all the same thing, isn't it? I mean, books, art, books on art. I love them all. Culture is my goddess. Uh, that painting is certainly interesting. Oh, this one? Well, I'm flattered you'd even notice. One artist to another, what, what do you think? It's an original. It's one of mine. But don't edit yourself. Be harsh, be cruel, but please, say you love it. Well, actually, I find the Michael, line. Michael, he adores my painting, darling. It's from my blue period. Really? Surprisingly, there's no blue in it. Uh, she's talking about her hair. A new hairdresser, unfamiliar dye. There's a lesson to be learned there. And so I decided to drown my sorrows in acrylics. Well, Lori, talk to your friend. And why didn't you tell me he's so adorable? What are you doing here? We're supposed to be broken up. Uh, no, you broke up. When one person breaks up by extension, both people break up or broken. No, 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 you two. It, it's much too late for serious talks. You save that for the mornings with sunshine and Bloody Marys. There's plenty of time tomorrow. He's staying in the guest room tonight. Excuse me? I was on my way to a hotel. I can... When I have a perfectly good guest room upstairs, naturally I won't allow that. Oh, naturally. And you'll be happy to discover there's one of my paintings in your room. It's from my mom, period. Mom? Yeah. Anybody home? You have to do something about our mother. Mm, I've tried to commit her, but she won't let me. Did you finish all the OJ? Never finished anything, remember? Hmm. It's right here. You uh. know, She's invited an almost total stranger to stay overnight. Strange to you, her, or everybody in general? They'd never met. It's Michael, the guy I told you about. He's not strange. He's wonderful. Well, obviously, if you got rid of him. I didn't get rid of him. I don't get rid of people. We drifted apart, suddenly. OK, it was because of me. Did you see the mustard in there? The man took one look at my painting and knew immediately that it was a neo-expressive work of considerable depth. He said that? Well, not in so many words, but his eyes spoke volumes. Mom, you barely know the guy. How could you invite him to stay? Oh, what's the harm? A poor wayfaring boy needs a roof over his head, so we opened our arms and took him to our bosom. How do you manage to sound so biblical and dirty at the same time? It's a gift. My mother has a hard time with boundaries. This is so awkward. No, not really. Only that I'm naked in your mother's house. This boundary thing runs in the family, doesn't it? Look, I, I promise we will talk tomorrow. But then, have you been working out? I think it's important to point out that this wasn't my idea to stay here. Your mother insisted. No, no, you don't have to make any excuses. I've had almost 30 years to know how she is. Look, there's some stuff in, in the kitchen. Uh, mustard, fruit juice. Help yourself. Thanks for letting me talk this out. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And I'm sorry about not knocking your hat. I just did it again, didn't I? Lori? It's unlocked. Hey. <laughs> no wonder you're still single. Now, what's your excuse? I, I just met Michael in the kitchen. A yeah, nice guy. You know, not many would drive all this way for a second chance. What's wrong with you? Oh, there's a list. Ask mom. Look, if you've got a problem with mom, and even Mr. Magoo could see that, you have to talk it out. No, but not with me. Whatever's going on with you two, talk to her.
Will was right. It was time. And there was no time like the present. Darling, it's me. Do you need anything? No, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, maybe first thing in the morning. Plaid will ever really come back? Sure, maybe in a skirt, but put it on a sofa and then try to find a painting to match. Mom, I need to talk to you. And I really need you to listen to me, Mom. Where did you get that old tape? Daddy made it before. I did let that tutu out twice just to get you into it. Oh, I'd so hoped that was only baby fat. <laughs> Look at my face. I was so happy. <laughs> oh, darling. You only thought you were. Daddy thought I could be a dancer. Well, he also thought Will could be a rocket scientist, and look how that turned out. Oh, what did you expect? He was a proud father. Why weren't you proud of me, Mom? I was proud. No, you weren't. I was never good enough for you. Well, maybe if you had finished something once in a while. I... I never finished anything because you never thought I was doing it right. You'd look at my dancing or my art or my science project, and you'd be like, here, let me do it. You're doing it all wrong. I thought I was helping. Like that one summer, told me I was going to camp. And I was so excited. But when I got there, it turned out to be fat camp. I was so horrified. You had fun. And you came back thinner. It was a win-win. It was only water weight, Mom, because I cried myself to sleep every night. You never had any faith in me. So I, I never had any faith in myself. And maybe that's why I'm on this, this never-ending diet now and why I can't keep a job and why I didn't stay with Danny and why my life will never be what it was supposed to be. No. No, you can't blame me for that. I always tried to teach you that you have to live your life. You can't let your life live you. And I can't do that for you, much as I tried. I really want to forgive you, Mom. But right now, <clears throat> I just can't. I need to go for a drive. It's what I do when I want to be alone. Well, it doesn't sound like you're going anywhere in this thing. I just had it fixed. Damn it. Well, you better call the uh, garage up and pick it up and fix it again. Maybe this isn't the perfect solution, but I've got my rental. You let me take your car? Well, I'm the only name on the contract but I'd be glad to drive you somewhere. I won't talk. It'll be like you're alone, only I'll be with you.
Okay, Michael, you're making me uncomfortable. You don't have to be this quiet. You said you wanted to be alone. Yeah, but this is strange. I can hear you waiting for me to say something, but look, I'm just not in a place where I can handle a relationship right now. If I were, there's a very good chance that you would be the guy. Well, that's encouraging. Is it? It's not supposed to be. I mean, oh, that totally came out the wrong way. Just stop, okay? Like, I don't want to put any more pressure on you. I just want a chance to state my case. When you're ready, which is clearly not now. Now it's time for you, so... Just pretend I'm not here. Are you hungry? Place your Thank you for all of this. I just, I don't know, I've been feeling so lost lately. Happens to all of us. You take your time. Find your way. I love this song. I know that. Because this was a song that played in the elevator the first day we met. You said it made you want to dance. Not even a mural one. Okay, I have to tell you something. Michael. Just please, just let me get through this once. And unless you tell me otherwise, I'm gone first thing in the morning. From the first moment I met you, I knew I did not want to date you. Excuse me? No, I mean, I... I wanted something way more serious. Oh, no. After you left, I was a mess. Ask anyone. I knew I had to try again and ask you the question I only want to ask once my whole life. Well, twice, I guess, if you count the time that you left me before. Michael. Lori, there, there's so much I love about you. I love the way you can't use chopsticks. Well, no one really can. I love the way you care about people. I love the way you answer the phone like that person is the one person you wanted to talk to. I could write a long list, because I know you're big into lists, but it would take me a lifetime. That's what I want, Lori. I want a lifetime I spent with you. I want you to marry me. There you go. That's it. It's your turn. I think that's maybe the most beautiful proposal I've ever heard. <sighs> Any woman would be crazy to turn you down. Twice? <laughs> so I, I guess that makes me certifiable. You're so clear about what you want, and I'm, I'm so flattered. But I just, I don't know what it is that I want. But whatever it is, it isn't me? I don't know. Is there someone else? I don't know, maybe. I mean, oh, that just, that sounds awful. Michael, Michael, there are a thousand girls out there. I don't want a thousand girls, Lori. You've got a long ride back. Should I wait? No, I think it's ready. Michael. I'm going back to the house. Pack my things. I won't be long. Don't go until I have a chance to say goodbye, okay? Hey, sweetie. Hi, Danny. Hey. I was afraid you weren't coming. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Peter. So you're through for tonight? Fun's got to end sometime. So I think we found the problem this time, but um, I'd feel more comfortable if you let me take it for a test drive first. You okay with that? Yeah, okay. Okay, hop in.
Just like we left it the night of prom, remember? I should say the morning after prom. God, your mom was so mad. I, I thought it might not be here anymore. That there'd be a row of condos or, I don't know, a mini mall or something. No. No, this town doesn't change too much. It's like us. We haven't changed, have we? Is that good, staying the same? <laughs> I don't know. I think Peter Pan had the right idea. Don't grow up. I mean, what does it get you? A mortgage you can't afford, a job that you hate. Seems like all the truly great memories are back there somewhere. We had that, you and me. You know what we never did? I can think of a couple things. <laughs> we never danced under the moon. Would you do that with me? You're kidding, right? Seriously? What? <laughs> I don't know, I just, I feel stupid. I'm not much of a dancer, but I don't know, this just feels kind of... What? Come on, give it a try. Sweet Look, I, you know, I'm sorry, I just... I think I was better back before I realized how bad I was. I wish I could be that guy again. Look, we don't ever have to grow up if we stick together. Isn't that just avoiding life? No, no, it's, it's not avoiding, it's hanging on to the good things. Lori, we had everything. I want you to think about something. You don't have to answer now, but I want you to think about something that we should have done years ago. What's that? We're moving back to town, us picking up where we left off, see what happens. Is that crazy? Meredith might think so. It says nothing to do with Meredith. Well, it's sort of about Meredith. I mean, you're about to marry her. Yeah. It's just that when I'm with her, I'm thinking of you. Very confused. Back yet? Who's Danny? Dan Hart? Laurie's first crush? Did she love him? Oh, madly. In fact, I'm not entirely certain that she's ever gotten over him completely. This bread has been in there an awfully long time. Isn't it supposed to pop up by itself? Oh, you see, this is why I never design kitchens. So why were you asking about Danny? In the movies, whenever anybody has an important decision to make, they wind up at a bar. For me, it was a sushi bar. I hate to be a stereotype, but that's what took me there. And in a town as small as Granger, you always see someone you know. Back so soon? I saw you with Danny tonight, and 
I'm sure there's some terrific explanation, but I'm not really in the mood to hear it if you don't mind. <laughs> it didn't mean anything, just old friends going out for a drive. It wasn't the driving that concerned me. I followed you, okay? Laurie, I can't compete with you. You're good on your own, and me, I'm only good when I'm with Danny. I wish I had your confidence. You think I have confidence? <laughs> I saw it the first time I met you, winning that trophy, your butterfly tattoo, skydiving. I mean, I couldn't do those things in a million years. You know who you are. You like people, and people like you back. If I didn't hate you so much right now, I'd probably like you too. I don't know what to say. It's okay, I'm, I didn't mean that. I'm just scared. Danny's the one thing I've ever really wanted in my entire life. And now that's in your hands. He's yours if you want him. We both know that. So I guess the question is, what are you gonna do about it? Could you wait a minute? I was thinking about the things that you said, and I want to say a few words in my defense. We don't have to go through this again. Yes, we do, please. The first time I ever held you, I thought you were the most perfect child I'd ever seen. And I wanted you to stay that way forever. That small, that perfect. Like it or not, I, I knew the world was focused on beauty and not the kind of inner beauty that you've always had. So I wanted to make life easier for you. So, yes, I wanted to finish your projects and cheer you on to becoming homecoming queen. Your father always told me just to let you be. You were perfect however you were because you were ours. I was looking at this old photo album tonight. And I think I finally see what it is you wanted me to see. It's my little ballerina who just danced her first recital. The third grade spelling champion. I came in fifth. First, fifth, you got a ribbon. Oh. And there's my daughter, the most popular girl in school. And why wasn't that enough for me? It's because I wanted everything for you. <laughs> everything. And a few extra pounds here or there. Well, your dad was right. As long as you were happy. You wanna know the funny thing? I ever wanted was to be glamorous like you. And all I ever wanted was to be popular like you. <laughs> oh, I was so proud of you. And I still am. You are? Oh, my darling. Do you still not get it? If I pushed you, if I wanted more from you, it was because I knew that you could be anything that you wanted to be. Your brother is a different story. <laughs> but they're both beautiful stories. At least through my eyes. I love you. Never really doubted that. Then we're good. We're amazing. Well, look at us. Back on track. Your father would be so pleased. <laughs> Michael, Michael, where is is he, is he back yet? I, I really, I really need to talk to him. Oh, Lori, no, Michael's gone. No, 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 no. He said he wasn't leaving until tomorrow. He, for some reason, asked something about Danny, and then he packed and left. Oh, he's such a nice boy. <laughs> Mom.
Michael, it's me. I can explain about that list. You don't have to. At least now I know what you want, even if you don't. How can you be so sure? You know, my roommate in college believed that there were any number of people out there to fall in love with. I always thought there was only one great love for each of us. For me, it's you. But for you, it's Danny. No, 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 that's not the reason. And I made that list a long, long time ago. The heart wants what it wants, Lori. You can't fight that. Michael, please. I left you a list of my own. Did? Should explain everything. Have a good life, Lori. things to do. Michael's list. One, make Lori happy. Two, make Lori happy. Three, make Lori happy. Four, make Lori seems kind of quiet this morning with Michael not here. How are you doing? What do I do, Mom? I've made a career, an entire life, out of covering up people's mistakes. If they bought a bad chair or a house with an unfortunate layout, I could fix it new upholstery or move a few walls around, but when it comes to the heart, it is what it is. Follow it. That's the best advice I can give you. What does your heart say? What did my heart say? That was a good question. And it was time I started paying attention. Hey. Hey. Oh, this is how I'd like to start off every day. What's up? I couldn't sleep last night. Thinking about me, I hope? Actually, my car. I was realizing that some things can't be fixed. Oh, no, I mean, you could still drive that for years yet. It's comfortable. But sometimes what feels old and familiar seems safe, and safe is a trap. You can get stuck there, never moving on, Never letting yourself experience anything new. You're not talking about cars now. The past is a great place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. Even if that past included me? Meredith is a great girl. Really, she's terrific. I would almost consider marrying her myself. And you guys, you guys were great together until I came back. What if she's not the one that I love? She is. She knows it. I know it. You know it. She's the right choice, Dan. Trust it. You and I make a great pair. You afraid to grow up and be afraid not to. What if I... What if I just asked you to marry me this weekend instead? You just got down on one knee right now and made it official. Is that what you really want? So, we're back where we started. After all, I did promise you a wedding. Love is something you can't deny. You can run, but you can't hide forever. Michael was right about that. The heart wants what the heart wants. And Dan's heart wanted Meredith. We are gathered today to join together in holy matrimony, Meredith Vargas and Dan Hart. 
Well, I'll put this in the car for you, unless you'd like to supervise. Nah, I trust you. Sure you don't want to stay a couple more weeks? Finish out your 20s here at home? No, I gotta get back to the city. I gave up way too easily on everything. Oh, you're paint by numbers. You finished it. I had a lot of loose ends to tie up and I figured that was a good place to start. Well, it's beautiful. Just like you. That's the first time I really believe it. <laughs> Sometimes you have to look at the past to see how far you've come and in what direction you're going. For me, I didn't need a list anymore to tell me that my future is back in New York. You again? What happened to that line around the block from my apartment? I misjudged the demand. It's why I had to step down from the board of IBM. You want it back? I do. You have a job to pay for it. I will. And this time, it'll be one that's right for me. Do you like kids? I love kids. Why? Our cousin has a daycare center. Are you a good storyteller? Absolutely. He'd need you tomorrow. What a coinky ink. I'm available. We'll make a call. And that's how I got here today. Wait, so Dad married Meredith? They're very happy. I got a postcard from their honeymoon. What's a honeymoon? Oh, that's something you don't really need to know about for at least a few more years. You haven't finished your list. Do you know any stories with ponies in them? And what about Mike? Well, that part of the story isn't quite over yet. Knock, knock. Or you know, you can't work these long hours without a break. Have you eaten yet? Look, top six. Uh, Mr. Lee at the dry cleaner said that he would teach me in exchange for taking his kids to the zoo. It's uh, number two on my new list. Thank you, Stop Six. You have a new list? I always have a list. What happened to the old one? Seven things to do before I turn 30? Well, I don't actually turn 30 till next week, but I decided that six out of seven wasn't bad. Aren't you supposed to be marrying Danny? Um, he and Meredith are somewhere in Tahiti right now. So if, uh, chopsticks are number two, what's number one? See for yourself. This past month, I, I wouldn't be absolutely sure about how I feel. Look, look, you can you can throw me out, or or you you can take my number off of speed dial. But before you do, there's one thing that I need to tell you. I love you, and I have since I first met you. And if it takes until I'm forty, I intend to make this list happen. Let's see. I'm sure you should be able to finish this list long before you're 40. But it might need another trip home. <gasps> Sorry, you two. 
not yet. I have one more question for each of you first. The shorter version. I'll do my best. So, do you, Lori Gwendolyn Madison, take this man for your lawfully wedded husband? Yes, absolutely, no question. I do, we'll do just fine. I do. And do you, Michael Daniel Chapman, take this woman for your lawfully wedded wife? Your middle name's Daniel. Yeah, you knew that. I did? Yes, sure, I did. I just never. Seven out of seven, after all. If we could just finish this, we'd all go home. So, do you take her for your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Then, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Happy birthday. Smile. 